Take care guys. Just an update on my uh, DV Mega. I've got a dual band one and they have problems with my CCS7. I didn't um, set it all up so I've just had to do it over the weekend. And I've put a new um, image onto my Raspberry Pi. Um, so now my uh, CCS7 is all working. It's all been populated now over the system. And um, that's where you can get one of the new images. And the image I'm using is this one. All you do, click on it, i.e. click on this, download that to uh, your hard drive. Uh, you know where you're going to save it or you know where it is. Um, unzip it just got the image itself so once you've unzipped it and you've just got the image itself uh, load this program win32 disk imager um, I put my SD cards here in the front this is not the right size this is just to show you I use a 16 gig one uh, anything from about 8 to 16 I'll do you um, and then your device will actually show up here, mine's G, and then all you do, click here, this little uh, icon there, and as it does, you just go and find where you've actually saved your program, or where the image is. Once you've done that, here at the bottom, you've got cancel, read, write, exit, click on write, it'll go and write uh, the image to the SD card, Probably takes about five minutes or ten minutes, something like that. Probably about five. Once you've done it, it says it's done, click exit, get rid of it. Now go and put your SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Once you've done that and you can see that it's actually started to load up, then go and load VNC Viewer. This is the one that I use. So you load up uh, VNC Viewer, click connect will come up and ask for a password um, I'm just putting mine in you know what the password is so I shouldn't have to tell you and let's get rid of this one for now so I need to set it all all up as it should be so that's the screen for this program and at the top you have menu uh, this one's the web browser that one's for farm manager terminal dv4 mini uh, dummy repeater and this one is the widget one WSD, uh, wds widget right left sorry left click on that and then you'll get the screen coming up might take a couple of seconds so now it's come up on the settings here okay that's the screen so the first top left D star repeater one make sure I where it says start up on the right GUI GUI um, modem 2 modem 3 you don't need on the right hand side at the top um, it's got let me just uh, sit this down a little bit it's got here, IRC DDB gateway. Just click that GUI. So nothing on there needs sorting out here. Start, none, 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 none of these are done. Dummy repeater, disabled, DB4 mini, I'm not using one, so disabled. And server two net, the blue spot, I'm not using that uh, firmware or software or anything like that. So that's disabled. VNC, yes. System desktop web server enabled. So all you need to do first config, click on the config there, and that should load up over here. Here's my settings. You might need to do your own uh, for your own call sign and everything. And this is just for me. I'm using 70 centimeters. So network timer. Announcements, oh, gone past too far. Announcements, 
uh, beacon. So here your message could be anything you want. I've just bought M0A of ADV Mega, that's all I've bought. And also with a language, choose your language. Some people put English USA, I put English UK. Um, modem. Modem, you've got a few that you can uh, go for, i.e. the type. DVAP, repeaters, blah, 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 sound card, whatever. I've got DV Mega. And then click on configure. When you configure it, because I'm using a, a dual band DV Mega, it'll come up as TTY ACMO. So that's the dual band one, ACMO. And for the single band, it should say, if it's going to come up, AMAO. So that's why it'll come up for the single band. In the var variant, you can put whatever you've got there. I've got a uh, dual band one, modem, radio two, radio 70 cents. Mine's a dual band one. So that's all I've put. Put your frequency here, where you're going to be using, your delay, your power. Then just click OK. I'm just going to click Cancel because mine's already done. <coughs> Next. So this is taking its time. Uh, control 1. Enable. Information's there. Control 2. The information is here. Most of this is already in. So just check on yours to see if it's about the same as mine if it is then you've got no problem and then your controller that's it nothing else you click file save and then it'll go ok click ok once you've done that top right hand corner click on the x uh, the repeater part there is done so next just make sure this closes down next uh, IRC DDB gateway click on that hopefully that I'll bring this up on this side it might come up on the left hand side of the screen gotta wait for it to come up okay it's on the other side of the screen so here it is now okay type hotspot my call sign uh, everything else is the same here. You've got to put your latitude and longitude and your QTH. Next, repeater one. There's my information. Um, I want to keep coming back on DCS 5B. So you can put whatever you want in these. Start up, yes. Uh, reconnect after 30 minutes if it, if it gets disconnected. Uh, repeater one, nothing. Just the same information. So latitude, longitude, uh, AGL, meters, whatever above uh, ground level. And then your QTH or any URL or whatever you've got there. Um, repeater 2, none. There's my information that I've got on there. Like I say, this should just be standard for everybody. Same as repeater, repeater 2 again. Repeater 3. Repeater 3 information. Repeater 4. Repeater 4 information. Um, IRCDB enabled and it needs to go on rr.open open quad.net. Put your call sign, no password. Next, DPRS enabled. Information's there, your port's already there. Don't forget you need to open certain ports on your router, so make sure they're all open for this the computer or the Raspberry Pi that you're going to be using. Uh, Dextra enabled. D plus enabled. Put your pulse sign at the bottom. And DCS and CCS enabled, enabled. And you're on CCS 7 and 05. UK, this is UK information. Uh, Starnet, don't use. Let's see if that's it. No, Starnet 2, don't use. Starnet 3, nothing. No, 
I've just got to see if that's it. Yep, I think that's it. So then once again, sorry, um, Starnet 5 don't use. Remote, I use that. And English enable, sorry. Remote is enabled. Whatever password you're going to use, there's your port information. And your password is for your uh, program on your Android uh, device. So you can actually uh, remote log in to uh, your Pi, your software and that. And you can change everything on your and Android uh, tablet, phone, whatever you want or whatever you're going to use. You can actually uh, go in remote and change everything. It's a very, very good program. Uh, miscellaneous, UK, Language UK, Enable, Enable. Disable your log, because it's just going to keep right into your um, SD card. Might fill it up faster than it should do. DRADS enabled, DNTM control enabled, and I think that's it. So once again, file, save, and uh, OK at the bottom. I've not done it because I've already set mine up. And then all you need to do there is once you've done all this and it's all done, uh, here on this side, you can see where it says save. Click save, and that's it. You can either go and restart your Pi and get everything working again. So you can either go and start the Pi or, all I do, click here, start, click there, start the gateway. They should now load up and my system should start to work. So that's my system all back up and running. And that's just the information to get you uh, working. Because uh, a lot of people don't show anything on uh, YouTube how to get uh, certain, certain uh, software packages up and running. And um, that's how I've got mine up and running on um, this version of the software. And it says it's... Um, D-Star Repeater is the 12th of the 1st, 2015, and the 16th, and the uh, IRC DDB gateway is the 16th of the 1st of 2015, both of them. So, that's your so software. Hopefully everything's up to date on there. So, at least you've seen my setup, and um, hopefully it helps you get your setup as well. Thanks very much from M0AIV. Hope you enjoy it.